more support for totalism, more war support, less stability. I mean, we don't want to keep losing stability. Or four civilian factories, three infrastructure. I'll definitely take that. Let's centralize Budapest. Or Budapest. It looks like the Mongolian Khanate will end up... Just end up dying very soon. I think right now we're okay. Stability is going down by 7.5%. Uh, that, that's quite a bit. And the pro-independence... It's really hurting our political power. We're actually losing political power uh, every day, which is very cool. But I mean, they... Was it May when they'll go away? Yeah, May 16th. So we still got a few more months. So one more on military factory. Follow you up with... 1938's core weapons. I think both of those sound okay to me. Again, the Austria and the Italian Federation, you guys just stay at war forever. I'm okay with that. And if maybe if you declare war on the north, that would also be pretty good. You know, declare war on the Italian Federation, kill them, and then we'll have like a very strong international line here. CNT, it looks like they might end up losing their war, which is a little bit of a shame. War stability. I think we do need the weekly stability. You know what? Yeah, let, let's go for improved worker conditions right now. And we can see the uh, Romanians to send troops up towards our border. This will be done in March of next year. Then we can invade uh, Romania. Hopefully kill the Serbians as well. And bring all of these guys into our fold. I'm still worried about what the Austrians might do. I mean, they do have a lot of troops on our border, which scares me a little bit, for sure. Osak Sol. We guys actually end up joining the International as well. I mean, you can, but you also could go for isolationism. We'll see what Georgia wants to do. I don't think we'd be able to send enough aircraft over to uh, Spain to really make a big difference there. It's definitely a bit of a shame. Russia's going to war in Turkestan. Uh, nobody should be surprised by that. And eventually they're moving your way into the Caucasus. But with Germany backing the Don Cuban Union, I wonder how much you could really get done there. Why is widespread unemployment? The, the pro-independence is really what's uh, harming us right now. Centralize Budapest and get a recovery up soon. Building slots is basically kind of trash. Like, you're actually like not that good. Because right now, residual of flax of Black Monday, what's that actually doing for us? I mean, it still really hurts. It's still not good. But it's not the worst. You could go for more political power. Demonstrations, more civilian factories. More civilian factories. A bunch of political power out of this. And you're more stability. I do need the stability. Like a power gain goes up a little bit. You're actually a point. You're point two five percent lost, which is not the worst. I, I, I've seen worse before. Also, it looks like the freaking uh, Ottomans are going to just conquer all of Bulgaria. I don't know how the hell that happened. Wait, 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 wait. You, wait, no, well, I guess, wait, who joined the Reich's Pact? You joined the Reich's Pact, okay. I thought this guy joined the Reich's Pact. I was like, oh, never seen that happen before. I mean, Bulgaria is going to die soon. I kind of wanted this war to happen Oh, you mean no political power. So, you know what? Just cancel justification. It won't, it won't happen anyways. I was kind of hoping that, um... Yeah, Romania's just going to go back over to Bulgaria now. The Ottomans actually really did a number on them. I'm surprised that Romania is actually... Or not Romania. Uh, Hon Turkey was the one that actually killed Bulgaria here.
you know, yeah, let's get the political power. We do need political power, because right now, you know, we're at zero. And there's really not much we can do about that. Let's get 4,000 guns. Let's make ourselves some close air support as well. Getting as much of an air force up as possible would be nice. Is Are the Ottomans just going to annex, like, the entire country? Because usually they just fight, I think, for, um... This region here, they take this and they peace out right away. You have 9 to 49. Mongolia has fallen mostly to the Kumulkanet. Okay, it's like, sure. You're also sending uh, volunteers to the Qing. No, the, no, the Qing were sending volunteers to you. Okay. And Bulgaria has lost their war. Serbia actually took territory away from what Greece usually would uh, be. Interesting. Okay, these these are some of the you uh, most unique oh, great pack boards I've seen in a while. We'll see how that goes for them. Okay, the Ikwan revolt, Assyria. I'm gonna take you guys to say that you're probably not long for this world. And the RDP is taking power in Bulgaria, which is the Liberals. It would have been nice if the Socialists took over power, but I'm not too surprised that they didn't. It's like, if I was, um... If I was the Ottomans, I would have definitely pushed for more territory there. I mean, how many men do you guys have? You have 8 to 52, 11 to 54 for the Italian Federation. So I think this war here is going to last... A long, long time. I mean, they're fighting, I'm assuming, for Venice is what they're after. And I'm not too sure if it's actually going to happen or not. Got the... One... More war support. 7.5% stability. You know what? Name the party. We'll get that going. Now, 95 political power, we really can't do too, too much. What I'm really worried for is that, uh... Yeah, the Social Democrats have been sidelined. Framed at first as simply more uh, efficient reorganization of state administration and apparatus, it has become clear that every nomination put forward by Bellacun and confirmed by his friends in Republican Council, that Tolis and Socialists are being put in control of ever more ministries, and the remaining Social Democratic allies, if not pushed to resign, are left with junior positions and unimportant roles. Glaska himself... It's given up the title of Prime Minister. It was a bourgeois title from a more corrupt time anyway. Meanwhile, even more power has been concentrated in the hands of Kun's foreign ministry and his pets. Um, Smensi and Roski control the military and economic departments of the government. While Skvatsa has been offered a newly minted uh, Ministry of, of Esperance Affairs. He has instead chosen to retire after nominating Bella Kun as his successor. I have no idea what that means, but okay. Democracy in the Balkans, across the Carpathians. Are you just going to invade me? I'm worried that Romania and Serbia will just try to invade, which will be sad times for us. I mean, Montenegro and Bosnia are also here. Apparently, they're also led by the same dude. He's just got two different names. Thanks for the infantry equipment. Follow you up. With the 1939 rifle. It is still about a year ahead of time, but it's not the worst. It's only 1938. It feels like it's been much longer. Probably because we spent the first hour uh, failing to actually do what we were supposed to do as Hungary. That's okay. I mean, if we go over to the ideological map mode. We can kind of see here, you know, all this red area will eventually join the Internationale. Denmark... I don't know. I mean, I know they can join the Internationale. It's just very, very unlikely. I never seen it happen. And aside from that... I mean, CSA is doing okay, it looks like. The Constitution of the American Republic is doing pretty poorly. The Western Command Center will fall soon, it looks like. And MacArthur is probably not going to last. Actually, where, wait, is MacArthur not here? Who's William D. Leia? Who who is this? Who who is this man? Where did Mark Arthur go? Um, 
think it says here. A navy coup? So he, there was a coup in the coup. Okay then. Well, they've, they've cooed the coup. We got the support weapons next. Uh, follow this with um, the 1939 artillery piece. It seems fine for me. Don't know what you guys are doing. The Department of Revolutionary Ideals. You're just getting military industry. And Norway is just getting the Constitution. Nothing too surprising there. Power. Abolish tradition. Okay, let's let's go for the modifiers that don't um, give us debuffs right away. Also, oh, these all have their own event tied with it. Naming the party. A great many Hungarian socialists, syndicalists, and totalists have had their own ideas on what to name the new unity party between social democrats and the orthodox syndicalists ought to be. Well, a name is a petty thing and has led to a ranch's argument. As this will be the name that leads the revolution. Some say it should be called the party of socialists in Hungary. Most of the members are not actually ethnic Hungarians. Others argue that it should be the Hungarian Socialist Party as, the members of the, as it is the party of the nation's left wing. So if more say it is not specifically addressed the workers of the movement's root, it should be called the Party of Socialist Communist Workers in Hungary. While such blatant reference to the uh, parties of the Russian Civil War is bound to turn heads in Berlin and Paris, albeit for different reasons, Bela Kuhn is ultimately side with the Hungarian Communist Party, and few are willing to argue with him. You will be done. I guess, yeah, do you all just have events? No, it doesn't look like you all do. Just at a few of you. Do. Okay. All right, now we're at fifty fat. We're at fifty um factories total. Nineteen one. You know, it's actually it's not a bad ratio. And who's declaring war on us? Is it Serbia, Transylvania, or war? Okay, no, it's 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 Romanian. How many men do you guys have? Sixteen to fifty. Put one troop here. We have guns. We have 9,000 rifles. Let's deploy another 5,000 men. How many guns does that take up? 5,000? There's about 1,000 guns per army. Of course, we're not going to give up uh, Pennsylvania here. How many planes do you guys have? 40. You guys have zero. I mean, our Air Force should be okay. Keep on building factories here. Okay, and a war has ended between... Bah oh, wait! The Dutch have also gone cynicalist. This is... Okay, so Germany. Uh, the Swiss, France, Belgium, and the Dutch are all cynicalists. That... Oh, this is going to be the fastest second build creek of all time. Um, it's going to be a bad day for them, for sure. It looks like you guys have joined up with the Anton. So the Anton is actually going to be at war with Indonesia very soon. Again, I would like to join up with the International. I just don't know when that would actually be able to happen. Because you guys don't have you, have... you have, like, no manpower. So there's no chance of you ever being able to help us out. Also, also apparently, I don't even like them. Which I think is kind of funny. Honestly, I think we're going to go for, like, a defense. Elastic defense. Supply consumption. Better entrenchment speed. You know, let's, I think, go for um, organization. I think that seems actually okay. But get this out of here for now. We have one more civilian factory done soon. And I would say there are a um, there are a lot of enemy forces here. How long will this? Twenty-two days. In demand territory. Iran's gonna war on the Ottoman Empire. Do you not think you're doing this a bit prematurely? 
Because this usually doesn't happen until um, October? I mean, we'll see how it goes for them. I mean, we're mostly in mountain provinces, so like we should be able to defend decently enough. More wars for more stability. Thank you. I'll definitely take that. How much manpower do you guys have? Serbia really doesn't have that much. Uh, Romania is doing pretty well for themselves, and we're now... We're at least gaining political power. But, and, and these will go away in like, two more months-ish. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly legitimately a little bit worried about a Romanian war. Because they could potentially be a threat. I mean, there's a lot of troops in Serbia. We know Serbian manpower is basically garbage. And they're spending a lot of their time right now occupying this land. I'm hoping that Austria... I don't think Austria can use this as an excuse to reinvade us. But I'm really not sure. 1940 rifles, a little bit too expensive. Let's go for the 1939 industry tax. Seems good enough to me. I mean, again, Serbia doesn't even necessarily need to actually join the war. Yeah, then more units down to Blue Army. We'll train these five troops up afterwards, and I think we'll be able to call that a day. We do have 119 light tanks. How many light tanks do you guys have? You 60? And I think we only have one of you. So you know what? Let's let's add one more light tank in here. You know, add, add two tanks. Yeah. Four more tanks in an army. Again, we do want the oil. We probably need to also start building a navy at some point. If we have 121 convoys. That's not that good. And I'm assuming we don't have any... Oh, we do have some tech, actually. So we'll start producing submarines whenever we get more uh, naval factories. So you can, at any point, demand territory from us. I don't know when it would be, though. Like, when, when would you decide that it's the right time to attack? That overweight Austria looks so ugly. He's, you know, he's just... They're trying their best. They're in a permanent stalemate against the Italian Federation. I mean, if you look at their faction, this is... Kind of sad. And when will the, um... I know that takes a while for the Dutch to actually join up with the International. I like the new assembly. Yeah, we'll go for more of you. More swimming factories, more stability. Like, Romania, if you're going to attack me, just attack me. Don't, don't. I don't need to wait. Just, just do it. Barely on the, yeah, they got like one port. They have, no, they have three ports on the Adriatic. Actually, they don't, because technically this is Italian territory now. So they really only got Triste and uh, Pola. Just like, we'll see how that goes. Cuba joined the Reich's Pack. I mean, Cuba joining the Reich's Pack doesn't really matter, because I don't think any of you can, um... I mean, I guess you're going to go join the Internationale soon, because Argentina should be close to death. They lost Buenos Aires. There's really not too much land they can really uh, call their own anymore. What we can also do as well is start uh, deploying close air support. Have you here? Get this stuff done. Get you going. Because again, you have less than 100 fighters and the Serbians have no air force whatsoever. So we can basically indiscriminately bomb Serbia and there's nothing they can really do to stop us. Which is always nice. Like, I'm assuming Romania doesn't want to declare war because of how many troops we have on their border. But I mean, like, who else would, um... 
Okay, we no longer have those uh, modifiers, so that means we should be getting actually a decent political power gain now. Yeah, 1.5 is pretty good. My fear is that... Man, Western Karelia from the from uh, Finland. Are you is Finland in the Reichs Pact yet? Yes. My fear is that Serbia and Romania will just join up with Russia at some point, and then makes our life significantly more difficult than it needs to be. Can you join up with the Internationale? You can. I mean, it's the only thing you can really do because you can't join up with the Soviet Union. Soviets don't exist. And I, I still don't know why Iran decided to fight so early on. You're now actually the Raj Authority. Winston Churchill took, has taken over here. Okay. Yeah, so it looks like the, uh, the federal government's close to falling apart. Canada might end up intervening in the Second Village League. We'll have to wait and see. And New England just gone for basic Social Democratic Party. Nothing too crazy there. And it actually seems like I didn't actually realize this, but the Pacific States are actually not in the war at all. They're technically at war with the CAR and the CSA, but that's it. They're doing the same anti syndicalist act. And can't, um... So it's like the... Yeah, the, who's elected? Was it the Democrats or the National Democrats? It was like the Democrats were elected. We don't care about the Red Flood events. Not a big deal. We could do this through National Assembly. Which elects somebody... I remember when do you join the international? You gotta do Dutch foreign policy. Which I think means you actually have to get all the way. I think you have to maybe do one of these. I'm not too sure exactly which um point you have to get to. Your five percent stability loss. But I mean well you know what yeah, let's abandon traditionalism. And move our way this way. Finish this tree. And we'll finally get rid of the... He's not the last remnants here, right? No, it's more stability, more political power. You're more stability, and you can have us root out resistance a little bit better as well, so that's not bad. We'll eventually be able to also do a recovery as well, some point in the future. Looks like the Raj Authority, they are trying to lose against the Princey Federation. We'll see if uh, the Party of Commune wants to invade the Raj as well. Give them a decent power boost. Put one more in the tanks. Let's... Uh... Yeah, you know what, let's get better military factory construction speed. While we sit here and we build more military factories. Get those factories up and running. As fast as you possibly can. Yeah, and Romania again. They still don't want to attack. Fear of aggression. Which I think just means that it's their, uh, their manpower modifier. Or their, not their manpower modifier. The, um, the doctrine. Yeah. Uh... Mass Assault, Mobile Warfare. Just, just attack me. Like, I don't... It's like I could theoretically attack you. But... Tension... The 1.4%. And that's about it. I'm surprised that Glacial Lord Emiria has not been incorporated into uh, Poland quite yet. 
Because usually they do that relatively early on. Maybe because they're at war, I'm not too sure. You must have the meme option for Poland enabled. Okay. I don't know what that means. The meme option for Poland. I don't know. Okay, anyway. Hungarian Klute, Klute und Kampf. The term Klute und Kampf dates back to the nascent German Empire's conflict, the Catholic Church, for control of the education institutions in the nation. Our own program goes far beyond religious schooling. We must abolish religion itself and the illusionary happiness it grants to the worker. In order, to, uh, in order that we might show them the true, the way to true happiness. Just as opium reduces suffering, so does the, uh, but does not cure the patient, even addicted to the succor, so does the church blind people to the struggles of the working class. In such a way, it is the tools of the oppressors and must be destroyed. You don't seem to be destroyed, the Romanians, but the Romanians won't attack me. Just, just shoot me, Romania. Do it. Also, did, did, um, I'm assuming that Finland did not give up Western Karelia. What are you guys all up to? I mean, the American Civil War looks like it's going to be lasting for at least a little while longer. I, I honestly, I don't think this, I don't think American Civil War is going to end before the Second Vilda Creek. I think the Second Vilda Creek is going to be like a freaking stomp. Especially if you guys stay social democratic. Because, I mean, you gotta, like, look at the size of this German front line. It's very beefy, and of course the Russians are going to invade from over here as well. I mean, that's, Russia also has a very, very large front line that they're going to have to deal with. Um, let's go with basic support equipment. You know, if we don't have a template for it right away, we can always put them in somewhere else in the future. The game wants to import more rubber. I'm kind of, I don't think we need to. Okay, Reese is a monarchy. The Bill of Rights is almost on its way. Red Hungary will finish in a second. Look at the international. I mean, what we really want is we want the Italian Fed or Socialist Rep uh, Republic of Italy to invade the Italian Federation. But it looks like the Italian Federation is trying to push their way into Austria. And it looks like Central America has gone radical socialist, which means we might see them join up with the Reichs or the international as well, which would be nice for us. We got five more units here. Boy, something like this. All our units are ready to go. My fear is that once we join up with a greater war, why is there an Alaskan Israel? Look, don't, don't worry about that, okay? It, it just is. 